everyone! In this video, I'm going to be painting on CDs. This was an idea I got from Bella Mina. Um, I will link her YouTube channel in the description, but I'm sure most of you have heard of her if you've somehow found yourself on my channel. This was a TikTok trend a while back, I guess. So she didn't create it, but she is where I learned about it from, so that's why I'm crediting her. Anyway, I'll shut up and I will just get to it. So I'm just taking out my blind bag of CDs. I got 14 for $1.97, which is a really good deal. At least I thought it was until I saw the CDs that I ended up getting. It was pretty much 60s and 70s music and country. So I thought they'd make a decent sacrifice for this project. I still can't find my paint palette, so unfortunately I had to break out this brand new paint set that I may or may not have bought three years ago so I could use its palette, and I figured I might as well use the paint too since I was running low on paint anyway. I don't know why I'm so impressed with myself for the fact that I managed to flip the white paint upside down simply by removing the plastic, but I am. I'm beginning by removing the foil seal from the white paint since I'll need to give a coat to each CD. And there's my forehead. <laughs> Even though the CDs were music that I really don't care about, it still felt so wrong to be touching and leaving fingerprints on it and then painting on it. I grew up around the end of the CD era. I still remember my first CD player. I received it as a gift when I was six years old and it was strawberry shortcake themed. And my older sister gave me this huge book of her old CDs. I think my most played one was probably Backstreet Boys or the Barbie Princess and the Popper soundtrack. That one wasn't from my sister though, I received that in like this collector's combo pack thing of the movie that also came with a doll and the soundtrack. And the movie was on VHS. I feel so old. Anyway, for this CD, I'm trying to make it look like an egg cooking in a pan. I think people call them pan fried eggs, I have no idea because I don't really like eggs that much. But yeah, I'm painting the CD to look like an egg that's been cracked in a pan. The outline is just squiggly lines, so that part wasn't very difficult for me. What was difficult for me was getting a nice even coat of paint because it just kept getting lumpy. Maybe I was using too much paint, I'm not really sure. Once I was done drawing the outline of the egg itself, I drew in the yolk. I wanted to give this a little twist so it didn't just look like a plain boring egg, so I decided to make the yolk rainbow and practice my paint blending. So I just distributed the colors of the rainbow into the palette, but for some reason my attempt at purple became this gross ugly gray and I just couldn't fix it no matter what I tried. And then I realized I already had purple paint. Once I started painting the yolk rainbow, I already started having trouble with blending when I got to orange. I thought I would just try and have faith in the process, but that didn't go very well, especially when I got to green. I somehow managed to ignore this urine vomit color and move on to blue and purple, which also didn't go very smoothly. I touched up the mixing and blending as best I could and moved on to painting the background black so you could really see the shape of the egg itself. I'm gonna be honest, I think this idea looked a lot better in my head than it did in reality. Maybe it's the crappy paint blending, but I'm not sure, I just was not feeling it. I gave the yolk some highlights to see if that would help, but it didn't at all. When I was done, I even asked my boyfriend if he could tell what it was supposed to be. His answer went something like this. Nope. Since this ended up being a fail, I more or less started over, but I kept a similar idea in mind. I was still going to make an egg, but I wasn't going to make a rainbow yolk, and I wasn't going to make just an egg. I wanted it to look like an egg in a pan, so if you were looking down at the CD, it almost looked like an egg frying in a pan. So I painted the very edge of the CD a dark gray, and then I painted the inside a lighter gray. I thought that would help put emphasis on the top-down view perspective. Once I had the pan all painted, I moved on to the egg and made it much bigger since it was way too small in proportion to the pan. Next, I mixed up the color for the yolk. I used a lighter yellow color and then I also mixed it with a darker goldish yellow. This time, I decided to place the yolk in the middle of the CD where the hole is. I thought it would just look a little better. Then I added a highlight onto the yolk and it was done. I was pretty bummed that the rainbow yolk egg didn't work out, but I think that this still turned out pretty cool. For my next CD, I started out the same way. I gave it a coat of white, but this time white was going to be the primary color of the design I was going to make. Also, I apologize for the intense light change as well as my messy mat. I know that's probably very distracting. I guess I'm just not a tidy painter. 
For this CD, I decided that I wanted to try and turn it into an eyeball. In my previous video, I said that if I could have any eye color, I would want it purple, so I decided to make the iris purple. I am very inexperienced when it comes to drawing eyes or painting eyes, so I just used a photograph of an eye as a reference, and I'm not sure how well it turned out. I think eyes might be one of those things that are actually really simple, but if you overthink it, it becomes way too complicated. Kind of like galaxy painting which I am very proud to say I managed not to do in this video. I was extremely tempted to just do a random galaxy patterned CD, but I wanted to try and stick with things that were round so it would look better. When I was looking closely at the photograph of the eye, I noticed that the iris at the very center just around the pupil had a slight green tint around it, so I tried to do that, but it popped way too much and didn't look right, so I toned it down by covering it with a lighter shade of purple. Then I added in the random white line slash highlights. I'm not really sure if they're highlights or just a naturally occurring part of the eye, but whatever they are, I added those in. I never really realized how deep eyes are. That probably sounds strange and like I'm trying to be poetic, but it's just so interesting. The longer you look into them, the more details you find. Anyway, I added a black ring around the iris because there is a very faint and almost blurry black ring around irises and eyeballs, which is another thing I never really realized until doing this. I tried to make it as subtle as I could so it would look more natural and less cartoony, and I think it was a nice touch. Finally, I added on some veins. I know this is probably a more creepy and not very appealing part of it, but eyeballs have veins. What do you want from me? I'm a little worried that I made the veins too uniform, but otherwise, I think this looks really cool, and I think it was a much better success than the egg idea. Hopefully, you can tell what it's supposed to be. I think it's pretty obvious, but I don't know if I did a good job really capturing what an eye looks like. Regardless, I still think this was a really cool idea, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The next design I'm doing on the back of the eyeball CD, and I'm going to make a donut. I know it's basic, but I was running out of ideas. I took two of these tan paint colors and squeezed them both out onto the palette, and one of them was really gross and watery, so I decided to go with the not gross and watery one. So I'm just painting around the edge what would be the crust part of the donut, and leaving the rest of the surface white so I can paint on the frosting. I went with pink for the frosting. Again, I know it's basic, but I think that strawberry frosted donuts are just the best looking ones. Once I finished painting the surface, I went around the edge and added some drip effect just so it didn't look so neat and looked more like frosting. After that, I just painted the center ring of the donut the same color as the crust, and lastly I added some sprinkles onto it. This one was pretty boring and uneventful, it's definitely not my favorite, but I think it looks okay and it definitely looks like a donut, which is what I was going for, so I guess that's good. And for the last design, I'm doing it on the back of the egg CD, I am making a pancake. I was originally going to do that instead of the donut, but I thought it would make more sense to put the pancake on the back of the egg design. I'm starting off the same way I did with the donut, I'm painting the rim a more tan color, and then in the middle I am painting a lighter tan color. Next I'm going around the edges with a darker brown color to make them look like they've been cooked more, but apparently with pancakes it's reversed, the center is darker, and the edges are lighter. But I didn't find that out until well after I was done with this project, so I did that all wrong in this video. Next, I tried to sponge on the darker brown onto the surface with my paintbrush, but that wasn't looking too good for the brush. <coughs> so I switched to the sponge dabber instead. I do have round ones, but I have no idea where they went, so I just had to make do with this. So I mixed some dark brown, and then I also used a little yellow to get more of a golden brown effect, and I think that turned out looking okay, except for the fact that I was dabbing way too hard and actually lifting up some of the paint from the surface. So I added on another coat to try and smooth that out. Thankfully, that seemed to fix it, and this time I remembered to be a lot more gentle with the brush. When the colors were all more or less blended to my liking, I moved on to adding the syrup. The syrup color was a little more tricky to blend, so I mixed brown and yellow and a little white. Syrup has kind of a metallic effect to it, but I didn't have any metallic paint, so this was the best I could do with what I had. So I painted on the syrup in this random shape because syrup is never perfectly uniform, it's always kind of drippy. And for some reason, the paint on the surface, the golden brown color, kept drinking up the syrup, so I had to add quite a few coats, which I thought was weird, and I still can't figure out why that happened. After painting on the syrup, I then added on a little square of butter. I thought this would make it all come together and actually help you be able to tell what it's supposed to be. Plus, all pancakes usually come with a little square of butter anyway. 
Next, I just added on some melted butter beneath it to make it a little more realistic. And then it was done. Let me know which of the CDs I painted was your most favorite. I think they're all pretty bad, but my favorite's probably the eyeball. I'm sorry I uploaded late again. My computer is over 10 years old, so it's not always very cooperative with me. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!